matey. Ah, ha, ha. Hey everyone, welcome to the top 10 list. Welcome to my top 10 favorite pirate movies. Arr, ha, ha. I don't know why I'm doing this top 10 list because I don't think there's any pirate movies coming out, but I just know I never did this top 10 list, and why not, right? So yeah, let's get to it. Here are my top 10 favorite pirate movies. And as well as before top 10 list, you gotta have your... Yeah. Honorable mentions. And my honorable mentions are... <clears throat> Peter Pan, 2003, Peter Pan, 1953, The Goonies, Pirates of the Caribbean, At World's End, uh, Anne and the Indians, The Crimson Pirate, and Against All Flags. Just good, uh, good films, uh, just couldn't be the top ten list. But anyway, my top ten is my number ten. My number ten is Hook, 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 here's the hook, here's the hook, Hook, Hook. Okay, um... I think uh, the 2003 and 53, uh, is it 53? Yeah, 53 Peter Pan movies are actually better films than Hook, but I just personally enjoy Hook a little more because it's just, it's nostalgia, and it's something I just, I grew up with. I, and it's Spielberg. I'm a, I'm a sucker for Spielberg. I love Spielberg. He's my favorite, he's my favorite director. Of course I'm a sucker for Spielberg. And I love Ron Williams, and I love Dustin Hoffman as Captain James Hook, and I love uh, Bob Hoskins as Smee, and I just, I, just I, I love and adore this movie. Dante Bosco as fucking Rufio, uh, just Julia Roberts, I guess, as Tinkerbell, she's okay, but the, the strange cameos of George Lucas, Carrie Fisher, and Glenn Close, they're just so great, it's so awesome, I love the John Williams score, I love the production, I just, I, I, I just love this movie. I grew up with this movie, I had the VHS of this movie, I later bought it on Blu-ray, and just, I don't know, it's it's not a, like, great film, but it's still a good film, and it's a film that I hold very dear to me because of childhood, and yeah, I love Hook. Conan number nine is Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. Yes, uh, some people would probably have the, the new one, I fucking hated that movie, and Stranger Tides, those fucking bad movies, but Dead Man's Chest. Pretty good. It's not great, but pretty good. Uh, Davy Jones is a cool villain. I love the designs. I love that Bill Nighy uh, plays him. Johnny Depp once again pretty much steals the whole film. And Orlando Bloom, Kieran Knightley kind of drag it down a little bit with their kind of dull storytelling. And especially Kieran Knightley, uh, she's not very interesting. I liked her in the first one. She's not as interesting in this one. And even like Orlando Bloom, he's a pretty good actor, but. Stuff with his dad, just, I mean, it was cool and all, but it was nothing that interesting. Uh, Johnny Depp makes the whole, whole movie. The wheelbarrow fight was badass. The fight sequences were cool. The villain was cool. There's a lot of cool stuff, but it's not as good as the first. But still, it's fine. It's a pretty good movie. Coming number eight is Muppet Treasure Island. Muppet Treasure Island is a good time. Definitely, again, not the best Muppet movie. It's not like Muppets Take Manhattan or the original 79 Muppets movie. Or even the 2011 Muppets movie. Like, those are great films. Uh, but this is still very good. I love uh, the songs, like Shiver Me Timbers and stuff. I like Tim Curry in the movie. It's anytime Tim Curry's in a movie, it's great. I love Kermit. Gonzo's role in the movie is super funny. It's, just, it's the Muppets. I love the Muppets. Coming number seven is 1950's Treasure Island. Uh, this is just a fun kids movie. I watched this, uh, I think, once when I was a child. And I had a good time with it. It's cool watching like Treasure Island movies, about, like old school pirates and finding the gold and stuff. Really cool story. Um, it's very dated and it's got some flaws, but it's still a good time. It's a good family adventure film. I actually recently watched it like about a couple of years ago. It still holds up. It's still good. Coming in number six is Captain Blood 1935. This is an uh, uh, Errol Flynn movie. I love Errol Flynn. My grandma, that was like her favorite actor, Errol Flynn. And so she showed me a lot of Errol Flynn movies, and this is easily one of his best films. He did a lot of pirate movies, basically mostly a lot of action-adventure uh, films. This has a very Treasure Island feel, but it's done a little better. The action's really cool, the choreography's really great. Errol Flynn's performance is really cool and dynamic. He has this just charm and sheer-like ability about him. And this film's just a good time, just a good time. Coming in number five is Captain Phillips. Yes, this isn't just normal pirates, this is actually Somalian pirates. And this is actually a true story about the Somalian pirates taking over this ship and stuff, and Captain Phil Phillips was Tom Hanks, and he was the captain of the ship, and basically they took it over and took them hostage and stuff. I'm the, I'm the captain now. 
Just a great film. Really good movie. Picard Update is fantastic. Tom Hanks is really good. But the best performance he gives is literally the last, like, two minutes of the movie when he has, like, this traumatic, post-traumatic stress disorder. Like, this guy is literally in shock. And it literally feels like someone is legit in shock. It is just a haunting performance. I would have given Tom Hanks an Oscar nomination just for that performance alone. It's that good. Coming to number four is Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Really great film. This is, a, this is a, literally in my top ten favorite live-action Disney movies. This is just a fun, swashbuckling action-adventure movie. Uh, Johnny Depp, amazing. Oscar, well-deserved. The nomination. Not the win. He didn't win. Nomination. I loved Orlando Bloom, Keira Knightley. They were great in the movie. Jonathan Price was great. Jeffrey Rush as Captain Barboso. Such a great villain. The skeletons look fantastic. The Just the sheer myths and stories they tell in this film. It's just a really great pirate movie. Yes. Yo, ho, ho, a pirate's life for me. Coming number three is The Seahawk, 1940, another Errol Flynn movie, probably his second best film ever. Uh, the Adventures of Robin Hood is still my favorite Errol Flynn movie. I think the movie is just so good, and I think that is, will always be the definitive Robin Hood movie. This is one of the best classic pirate movies I've ever seen. It's a lot more darker and grittier than most pirate films. It has an interesting romantic side lead. Uh, unlike Captain Blood, the woman's just as dumb dumbass in distress. This one actually has an enjoyable female lead. And Errol Flynn is a great, awesome lead character with great chemistry. And it has cool action, great production. And it just feels like a much more funner and more enjoyable. And a lot more effort. A lot, there's a lot more effort put into this movie than I think in Captain Blood. And just, it's just a lot better. I think it's just a well-crafted and constructed film. So yeah, great film. Coming at number two is Serenity. Yes, you can't get sky from me. Yes, I love Serenity. Space Pirates. So yeah, uh, it's a movie adaptation after the television show, and it's a fucking great movie. Joss Whedon did a great job. The whole cast is back, and they wrap up the story of River and Simon's story. We actually finally get to see the Reavers up and close. We get to see uh, the Serenity crew battle the uh, the Alliance and stuff. Shota Ejivor is a great villain as the operative. So great. You see a lot of characters die, which is just so heartbreaking to watch. After the movie ends, you just want more. You want more Firefly, more Serenity, more of this team. Firefly is my favorite show, and I wanted more. Fuck you, Fox, for canceling it. But hey, this is a good movie, though. And my number one favorite pirate movie is The Princess Bride. What else would it be? It's The Princess Bride. As you wish. Uh, there's pirates in it, so it's a pirate movie. The Dread Pirate Robert, okay, Wesley. It's, it's a pirate movie. It's a lot of movies, actually. It's a fantasy, adventure, romance story. Almost a little bit of horror, but it's a pirate movie, too. And it's a great movie. It's Rob Reiner's best film. It's got one of the best fencing scenes you'll ever see. Great characters, horrible lines. Hello, my name is Inigo Montorio. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Inconceivable! Just everything about this movie, just it works. It is perfect. It's amazing. It's Princess Bride. So yeah, that was my top ten favorite pirate movies. So in the comment section below, please tell me, did you read this top ten list? If not, give your guys top ten favorite pirate movies in your guys' opinion. Comment below, let me know. And as always, thanks for video. Please subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.